and welcome to Busy Bees TV. My name's Tom Foolery and today we're going to do some craft. So you can join in, all you need is a few bits that you can find around the house, or maybe some craft bits if you haven't got them, you can pop down to County Mail and pick up some bits and pieces. First of all, you're going to need a cardboard box. Now this needs to be quite a strong cardboard, the type you get stuff in and sometimes you climb into and play forts in. Not your cereal boxes, they might be a little bit too weak. You can get a grown up to help you cut out a piece of this, then if you go to our website, you can download a template which will allow you to cut out this sort of shape. You can draw around it on the card and then cut it out and get some help from your grown-ups if you have a bit of trouble. So we're looking for this shape. This is going to be the main body of our yarn bird. But then we need some other bits. Any bits of colour paper you've got at home are great. Wool. We need lots of wool, any colour at all. We've got pipe cleaners, we've got sticky board, we've got little glue on eyes and I've been out in the garden and I've collected a couple of twigs as well and I'll show you exactly what they're for a little bit later on. You can get really creative with this, you can go as far as you like. I'm going to cut some shapes out from the, uh, the colour card as well. I'd like to end up with a triangle. So what you can do is just cut the corner off of one piece of paper and you get a great little triangle. That's going to come in really handy. You may not be that creative. I'm not great, but I can draw a simple teardrop shape. And by drawing that and cutting it out, we can also make another essential part of our yarn bird. And I'll show you that in just a moment too. Nice and easy. So here's what we're going to start with. Get your scissors, get your grown-ups if you need some help with those. And we simply need some slits around the outside of our yarn bird's body. So we take our scissors and very carefully cut about one centimetre in and about one centimetre apart all the way around the outside. Now to show you, I've done one a little bit earlier. So can you see our shape is there and we've got slits all the way around it, not too deep. And we're then going to get our wool. I'm going to start with pink, find the end and you literally put it through the slit, hold on to the back of it and through another slit and then just keep on going nice and gently to start with and then we're just going to wrap the wool around between the slits up and down across if you want to oh look at me I'm getting daring there we go and we're just gonna make as much or as little with our stripes and of course you don't need to use one color you can make this lots of different colors all the way along as you can see, I've already covered this one in blue and white. And you don't have to fill it all up, you can leave some gaps as well. And this is where we start to add the details. The sticks you collected from the garden or the park make fantastic feet. The teardrop shape that we cut out earlier, that was so we can stick on, whoops, so that we can stick on a wing of course. You can stick that on with glue and you can get these fantastic eyes that go on as well. And the triangle we cut out earlier, nice and simple the beak that's going to go on the edge. And you can decorate those with all those bits and pieces and make it a complete flamboyant yarn bird. Look at that. All made with stuff that you might just find around the home, or if you need to, pop down to County Mail and get your craft materials there. Paper, yarn, cardboard, craft kits, it's all available and you can make something as cool as this. Thanks for watching Busy Bees TV today. My name's Tom Foonery and I'll see you next time.